Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how to utilize the MetaHuman Animator plugin to animate custom meshes created with Unreal's MetaHuman Creator to enhance your Unreal projects. We'll also cover the process to take your MetaHuman into Maya for further customization possibilities. In this tutorial, we'll use Unreal's videos and documentation to break down each stage of MetaHuman Creator, Quixel Bridge, MetaHuman Animator, and Autodesk Maya in detail, along with any steps we found helpful. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. The first step is to start a new MetaHuman project from Unreal Editor. This project will come with default sequencer examples, lighting, cameras, and full body setups for Ada and Taro MetaHumans. However, if you'd like to set up a scene specifically for MetaHumans, you'll want to set up a MetaHuman project. On your iOS device, make sure you download the Live Link Face app. This app will allow you to capture your facial movements as well as capturing your face for custom MetaHuman mesh creation. It's recommended that you scan your face looking directly at the camera from the front and three quarter head turns left and right. You also want to get a clear frontal view of your teeth. You'll then want to create any dialogue or acting movements for motion capture in a separate video capture session. This will allow for cleaner video ingestion workflow, which we'll cover later in this video. Before starting your MetaHuman Animator plugin, you'll want to make sure your project has a few settings set. Go to Edit Plugins and make sure you enable the MetaHuman plugin. Go to Edit Project Settings Caching and make sure your cache behind percentage is set to 25. Your cache size is set to 2 gigabytes and your cache threads are set to 4 global cache size set to two, and your global cache is checked. These are Unreal Epic recommendations, so it will be specific to your machine's requirements. To get started with MetaHuman Animator, select Capture Source, and name the file. Capture Source Type, you'll want to select Live Link Face Archives, and you'll set your storage path. This will be where the video takes will be stored for motion capture from the iPhone device sent from the Live Link Face app. Select Tools Capture Manager, and this is where the ingestion of the takes will take place. Under Footage Ingest, you will see all the takes captured from your iPhone device using the Live Link Face app. Select your takes, you can select one at a time or group select them and click Import. Capture data footage will contain your capture data and the folder will contain all the data from your ingest process. Create a MetaHuman identity and name your file. Create components from footage, select your capture footage, front sides and teeth. Select your neutral pose from the frontal view. You'll want to be looking for a relaxed pose, open eyes looking straight ahead. Promote the pose by clicking the plus button and name it to front. Click the camera button to pick side poses and you'll repeat these steps for the side views left and right. Click on MetaHuman Identity Solve. Once this process is complete, you'll be able to see your custom created MetaHuman mesh and you can toggle between the source video and the 3D mesh. Click Mesh to MetaHuman and you can select Auto Rig Identity, which will create the skeletal mesh only. And if you want to send your MetaHuman to the MetaHuman Creator app, you can select Auto Rig Identity with Skeletal Mesh and Full MetaHuman. Click on Add, Add to Pose, Add Teeth. Choose a frontal view and click the plus button to promote the frame. Go to the Teeth Outliner and hide Duplicate Upper and Lower Tooth Markers. and click Fit Teeth. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Character animation fundamentals teach the importance of video reference to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya and Substance Painter. 
The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Click prepare for performance. Note that this process will take several minutes to generate a skeletal mesh depending on your machine's configuration and your skeletal MHID will be created. The next step you will want to create a MetaHuman performance and you'll name the file. In the details panel you'll want to select your footage capture data, your MetaHuman identity, inside control rig you'll select your rig, and you'll want to select your frame range from the timeline and lastly click the process button. From here you can export the level sequence, you can export the range, you can set processing range or set the whole sequence and click create. Once inside this created level sequence, click on perspective and select performance MHP camera. Another option to export is you can export the animation and you can select the target skeleton or skeletal mesh downloaded from the MetaHuman Creator and the Quixel Bridge added to UE5 projects. If you wish to bake to the control rig, inside Sequencer you can right click the face track, you can click on Options for Baking, uncheck Export Transformations, Export Morph Targets, Export Material Curves, and evaluate all skeletal mesh components and click Create. This will allow you to adjust the face movements inside of Unreal. If you wish to send your custom created MetaHuman Mesh to the MetaHuman Creator app where you can further customize your character mesh, browse inside your MHID file, click on Mesh to MetaHuman, and choose Skeletal Mesh and Full MetaHuman. This will send your MetaHuman to the MetaHuman Creator web-based app and your MetaHuman Unreal account. This process is similar if you create a custom modeled mesh and click the Mesh to MetaHuman button inside your MHID custom mesh file. You will also be able to see your custom mesh inside the Quixel Bridge app as well as inside your MetaHuman Creator account. You can then customize additional details which can then be exported back to Unreal via the Quixel app which we will cover next in the video. To import additional MetaHumans you can utilize the built-in Quixel Bridge interface. To access the integrated Quixel Bridge inside Unreal, go to the main toolbar, it will be the icon with the box and the green plus sign and then select Quixel Bridge. Browse to My MetaHumans. These will be MetaHumans you create from the MetaHuman Creator web app and download your MetaHuman. You can choose in the settings where you wish these to be saved and you can see where the default location is set. Once downloaded, click on the plus add button to add to your Unreal project. When prompted, click Enable Missing for missing plugins. Restart Unreal to apply the settings, and your MetaHuman will now be added to your Unreal project. For the Maya export process, you'll need to download the Quixel Bridge standalone app. This export will not work with the integrated UE5 version of Quixel Bridge. Export target set to Maya, click Download Plugin. Browse to your desired MetaHuman, click the Settings button, then select Download Settings and set to UA Asset plus Source Asset. Open Maya, create a new scene, or you can open an existing scene, and inside Quixel Bridge, click Download. When your download finishes, click Export. You will see a pop-up dialog inside Maya asking you to confirm the import. Accept the pop-up and wait for the import to complete. If you notice that you are not getting the MetaHuman to import, be sure that you have enabled Python 3 when you installed Maya or else the import will fail. Overall, MetaHuman Animator, in combination with MetaHuman Creator, is a great tool to motion capture facial animations quickly for your projects and further customize them with Autodesk Maya utilizing their control rig. When testing with lip sync, there are still some unnatural movements, especially in jaw movements and when the mouth opens and closes while speaking. However, the raw motion capture is still a great starting point. It's great to see a tool like this available for free. As capture hardware devices advance, the accuracy will undoubtedly get better over time, 
reducing or potentially eliminating additional cleanup. Hopefully this video is helpful as you animate your characters for your Unreal projects. Well, that about wraps up this video. Are you utilizing the MetaHuman Animator plugin for your Unreal projects? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect.